Welcome to our Alien stream where we'll be playing the second installment of the cinematic adventure Chariot of the Gods. Before we begin, let me introduce to you both my players and their characters. Hi, my name is Katrina and I am playing uh, Leia Davis, uh, the pilot, and currently I am afraid. <laughs> With good reason. Hello, my name is Orion, uh, and I'm playing the role of Lyron Cham, roughneck and uh, big brother. Hello, and my name is Christian. I am playing Carl Rye, technician and fun guy. Bitcher, mostly bitcher, <laughs> in greedy. But fun. Fun guy or fun guy? Fun guy from yeah. Yogos. I'll take it which is rather suitable here, actually. <laughs> anyway, so uh, the three formed part of a five-man crew of the commercial freighter the Matero that was currently hurtling through space with a delivery for Sutter's world when they were awoken and found out that the ship had been diverged to check out a distress signal, which they found to belong to an old drifting ship, the Cronus, that had been missing in space for over 70 years. Boarding the ship, they started to explore it and quickly realized that something had gone terribly, terribly wrong aboard her. Thinking what must be something akin to space madness or something, uh, through witnessing of destruction and mayhem costs on the floor, they are now currently finding themselves in a dark, cold ship when it wakes up to life again. Lights come on. Your t you two, uh, Davis and um, Rye, are standing outside the cabin of the corporate cabin when suddenly lights start blinking on and from only standing in darkness lit by those little green emergency lines along the floors and the ceiling, it's almost like being blinded, even though it's quite muted, the light that comes on. Also, you can hear that the air then starts hissing and pour, pushing out air. Though you can, and you can even see, see it due to the temperature change as clearly heating is put on as well. Cham, on the other hand, is standing inside the cryodac uh, room. He's uh, looking around, he's cutting through, cut through the door that had been barricaded. You've checked out that there are five surviving crew members of the Cronus deep asleep. A slumber of ages in the cryogenic tubes. Here as well, lights come on. The air vent starts pouring heat and hopefully air. Just lots of dust in. But it's still going to take quite a while before the ship is anywhere near to being comfortable temperature. Uh, it, it was pretty much deep frozen through. And as you're standing there, you all hear your comms chirping, and it's Captain Miller. Boarding party, come on. Come come over. You hear me? What's happening over there? We hear you. We hear you. We hear you. What's, what's happening? The exterior light uh, on the Cronus just came on. It seems as the ship is coming alive. It's coming alive. Her voice is uh, both interesting and intrigued. And she can tell she's been she's been nervous, waiting for uh, being once removed from the action. And she goes, uh, "Okay, I'm coming over." Just one question uh, first, Captain. Over. How long can you yes? survive in cryo sleep? I don't know. Uh, technically, for a very long time, though I don't. No, I believe that I heard a story once about someone surviving about 50 years. Fine, but I haven't had anything confirmed. Uh, but this this hasn't been tested to this extent of time. For as long as this ship has been gone? Nothing but my knowledge. Because no. there are five here. God, how many? There are five survivors. Do I, do I see that there are life signs? Yeah, there was a life. They are monitored. There, life, there are two other. The, yeah, yeah, like the but like well, like, life. I haven't actually 
put on heartbeat, but you can see they look fine. And you see that all the readings of the cryogenic sleep is fine, but they haven't put on the heartbeat monitors, so you don't really know the vitals, but they but they appear to be, like, they look lifelike. They look perfectly preserved. Whereas in two of the tubes, you, you saw mummies. dry, chiseled husk mummy. I kind of like mummies. Clearly something had gone wrong and either yeah. malfunctioned the tubes or so, yeah, something else has, had gone, gone horribly wrong. Uh, well, but, uh, I mean... Okay, don't do anything with them now. Do, do, I mean, we have no idea how that how they're going to affect them. It's of course, going to need some sort of medical, medical, medical supervision once they get out. I mean, I, can't, I mean, God, I've spent close to a year in cryo sleep. Uh, that was bad enough. I can't even think what those poor bastards have gone through. But I'm coming over. But Wilson, I want you to come back on the ship. Uh, mother wants to talk to you as well. I'll be seeing you, t- you, you three shortly. Where at whereabouts are you at the ship right now? I'm at the rare deck B. I'm at the corporate suite. Deck A. B. Deck. I'm deck no, A. Deck yeah. A. You're rare deck A. Rare deck A. And you're okay. I'm gonna come into you, Davis. I'll meet you. You stay put where you are. Oh, I am. Craggles off and Wilson's because okay, I'm coming back now. And you can hear like he mutters under his breath before he turns his comm on off. This is creepy. <laughs> Looking in the mirror, I guess. <clears throat> Probably. It's creepy um, that he doesn't pay us enough. That's creepy. Okay. Um that's uh so the corporate suite. Is it open? Yes. Yeah, you yeah, you hit the you hit the you hit the like the little button that opens the door and it slides open it's open inside it's uh and you're looking and then as as you step in the lights sort of come automatically on probably photo sensor but not completely on because clearly something is wrong with them like one of the lights just flickers like on and off like a light uh, working another is cracked and with the screening partly cracked and half dead and half light coming across and you look into a, it's a large spacious cabin. Um, it must have been very luxurious at one point. Right now, it looks just wrecked. You look at a big bed standing in the room there, it's a middle room more or less after one wall, and it's just covered with some black, dark brown uh, f- stain all over the middle part of the bed. <laughs> It's just like frozen, like some wet has seeped up all, all over there and frozen to the duvet. You look towards another area with a like seating area where there's this coach and a chair and the stuffing of the coach had been ripped out. It's just been demolished. And you take one step in and suddenly you feel something dragging the floor out from underneath you. And Davis, you fall backwards, landing flat on your back, <gasps> looking up at the ceiling. And you, you right, see a bottle rolling across the floor. She stepped on it, not seeing that. What was that, Carl? Carl? Carl, what was that? What was that, Carl? That was a damn bottle, bottle you fool. Is, is it a scary bottle? Sort of. Um, I help <laughs> her up. Yeah. I help her up. You can see where it came from. It came from a bar that's been standing like a, like, like an oval bar towards one wall, which has been pretty much cleaved in two broken glasses everywhere, and haphazardly across the floor you see one or two bottles of have made it. Just generally, it's just mayhem in here. Like someone's gone completely bananas and destroyed it. Looks like a fat party, doesn't it? Gone really, really wrong. All right. All right, Carl. I am sometimes wonder about you. Oh. No, I've lived. Clearly. Uh, let's see if there's uh, anything we can find here. Right. Uh, start on each end. Yeah. yeah. You start. Look in for the data end. pads or anything that's Co- useful. Key, keypads. Anything. You start in the end towards with, with the seating arrangements and the bed, we- uh, Davis, and you start on the other end where where. Uh, with the wet bars broken and and stuff like that. Where it's also like a walk-in closet here in this uh, room. Leah, you, there's you start rummaging through. Like, the, it's nothing much to, to do with the seating area in the coach. It's just been ripped to pieces. No, doesn't. So you walk over to the bed. You lift up the mattress, which is like half frozen because of the, whatever seeped a dark. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, yeah. 
And uh, there you notice something's been tucked underneath the uh, mattress. Of course, it's the most sensible place to hide interesting shit. Yep. What am I looking at? You take out a little... It's a little like uh, in autojet, like uh, auto-injector, like a little... Uh, mm. like, again. And there's like... And uh, you can roll a die, d6. Hold on, I need to find my dices. Dices. Uh, only one d6? Yeah. Okay, I just need to take out the ones I don't need. And yeah. Got a six. Ah, that's six does it. You see, it's not like, it's, a, it's actually, it's, that's a, it's not a needle point. It's just a, like a small round hole, hollow cylinder. So you did it for this sort of uh, delivery agent for the drugs you find. And you can see they're not marked at all by this medical, pharmaceutical uh, re uh, like approved numbering. This is clearly some sort of uh, drugs. Some sort of you know this is sort of sort of a combination of uh, of uh, making you both high and calm at the same time. <gasps> and uh, clearly you. I put turn off one, my you put, sound. <laughs> you put it. You yes, put it. Yes, you put it. Yes. Run into the auto injector and then you. Inject it into your eye ocular. You're like you open Yeah, but I can't do that now. But I get yeah. it. Nope. Yeah, yeah, I get it. it. I know where it's going. I, yeah. I'm into it. <laughs> you put it on one of your pouches on your oh, spacesuit. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yes, sweet Jesus. And then <laughs> yes, okay, no, nothing here, girl, nothing. So yeah, like the 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 bar has been cleaved in half, and most of the buttons are broken, and it's not much interesting here at all. You walk around, you find out like there's like a picture hanging on the wall there, which is a little. Hanging a little off skelter. I and, either, and behind it, there's a safe with a keypad for entering a combination. Okay. Uh, do I have any idea? Uh, well, without the combination, the only thing where you think of pink of opening it is more or less you need to probably just. I mean. Either crack it, hack it, like hack it, with, like hack it, or blow the hinges off. But if no, you blow the hinges do, do off, do I need equipment to hack it? Or yeah. can I? Okay. Well, you can try. Uh, no, like, but you, like, you have like a small, you have like you have a small little toolkit. Uh, I want. To... Of course. Okay, you it's do. a, it's a minus three difficulty contact roll. Minus three. Yeah, so you take away okay. three dice. Dice. Uh, dice so is. that's uh, the wits plus contact. Yep. That's, uh, it's gonna take you. It's gonna take you at least one turn to to because you gotta first remove the panel. You gotta get get to the wires behind and then, yeah. And then I add my stress die, right? Yeah, you add your stress die. So you have any stress oh. dice? You add that to your so you get more. I am so stressed. Ooh, that's one. <laughs> yes, uh, on my stress die. <laughs> well, one success is enough. Uh, he's working, uh, you're working with that, and it's taking a little bit of time getting it all... It seems uh, like I'm something I've done before. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. So you put that away, and you explore the rest of the room where, you, uh, where you're at. It's, uh, it's not much left, it is debris and detritus, so you walk over I... to the walk-in closet. Yeah. And uh, opening it, you realize that it's not a closet at all. It's actually an EEV. Emergency escape pod vehicle. Is it still there? It's still that's this one is still here. E the e other ones you yeah. saw passing earlier yeah. were all gone, but this one is here. But it's there's there's a keypad here. It's clearly locked, and you need an entry code to, to, to access it, so you can't access it. But you you'll, you can sort of see a bit into it, and it it looks spacious. It looks like it could hold up to at least at least two, probably three people, mm. and you can see like a uh, cryo tube in there as well. I'm thinking, uh, I note that down. Uh, good to know. Uh, not that I expect anything dangerous to happen, but just just good to know. Good to know. Uh, are, we, are we allowed to do free searches? Uh, or is there no point? Like, look around for specific things. No, you can look around. Yeah, you can look just to say look around uh, the room. Yeah, because what yeah. I would be looking for is... Uh, any uh, logs from whoever stayed in the room, like video logs, uh, any like their journal. Um. 
you find we that, are uh, 130 days into deep space blah 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 i'm looking for that just to see yeah. if there's any telltale signs uh of what really happened if there's a something personal videos log there's you find a like a personal pda yeah but it, the floorboard has been crushed it's like, yeah. like so, something no was stamped on it and it's just completely destroyed uh, uh where's after a while you look back over to uh carl who goes like finally and he clearly has managed to open a wall safe ah oh, well then it's more interesting than uh ruined pda pda personal mm. yeah mm -hmm. oh, so you the loot. inside you find a modular computing device sort of like a pda as well uh you try to you boot it up but it's it's encrypted and then so and this you don't have any tools to hack this here now that that would require a long time with a with a computer access if you're going to try to do that uh, why well, i'm going you, to try yep and uh, you find uh, also loads of oh, like this big bundle of bills like money and uh, like and, st and also some stacks of coins yeah money but it's not type of money you've ever seen oh they're it old looks money old i'm still guessing it's gonna have some sort of a value don't you think carl yes and i do believe that scavenging uh, is mostly related to objects and equipment and stuff like that this is not part of scavenging this is loot 50-50? Of course, my dear. We split. You split, you split it up. There's like two rolls of uh, like coins, which are like in sort of like tubes, and two and four stacks of bills. Money, money, like I said, money. It, it appears to be very old. Finally getting paid on this. Trip. That's what I've been saying. Hope I find a bag that will accept it. I, I do collectors. <laughs> That seems more likely, yes. Yes, collectors of space cash. Come on, it's and it's if, if this vessel has a story. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in. Of course you are. Meanwhile, do we give some? Um, He'll, he can get like a percentage. We'll see what we feel. We'll like. see. We'll see. He'll we'll get see, his we'll bonus see. anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he doesn't need it. He, he can. He's probably looting and not telling us. You know. He mm -hmm, is. Mm -hmm, Have you mm -hmm. seen him? No. No. He could be just looting his ass off. He is. And me. And speaking of chat, so you're in standing in the in the the hallway there with the what, in middle of the. If you look at the map, you see that like the three different cryopod yeah. areas, and you've checked all three of them. And now back is standing in uh, in the middle of the third one. I'm thinking, uh, since the ship now has come to life i am quickly going to run back and see if the door is still jammed or if i can yeah to just, just to see if i can get into mother okay so you exit the octagonal room of the cryo jam and run back through the hallway past the door that you mm. cut yourself through do you run up the larboard or starboard side uh, i run up the port side And as you run down there, you can hear that from, you run quite past the air scrubber shafts yeah. intake. You can't see it because it's like, that's behind yeah. like panels and you have to like crawl for ventilation. But you can hear it laboring and working in there really hard. It's, the noise is almost, you can hear the noise in here. You'd imagine your mom's be deafening in there. And you can see this, this heat and air being blown out through the... The air, shaft, air ventilation shafts come into the hallway, and you can feel that the temperature is warmer there. So it's gonna, it's gonna, this is gonna heat up the ship. It's gonna take a little while. It's gonna probably take about like half an hour, forty minutes at least. But it's gonna work. It's gonna warm up the ship well. And you can also, but you can also see that a lot of the, a lot of the dust and other debris coming out of there. Yeah, yeah. It's that that, look good. Do, do I have any? Any way, any means of measuring the O2 level 
Yeah, you have like, like a little sensor. You, uh, I was gonna like ask a that. Voltmeter, kind of like a voltmeter-looking yeah. kind of thing that you can take s- s- sensors off. This is, it's a, that's a common uh, gear for when boarding or for like, exploring. For space everyone. Works. Yeah, everyone has a small person. And one. what is the, what's the pressure, uh, pressure, uh, pressurization of, uh, of the hull at this point? Um, Procession seems the hull seems to be holding. The pressure is uh, is good. It's going up now. It's it's is normal. That's going normal. But you can see clearly that the CO two levels are high, higher than okay, they should so. be. Not so high that it's impossible to to breathe. It's possible to breathe, but it'll be labored breathing. Yeah. So it's clear that uh, the the air scrubbers either need to be changed or cleaned probably for this to produce clean yeah. oxygen. Plus, who knows, I mean, even this, you imagine that the way this ship generates oxygen is through electrolysis of water, so I guess a lot of the water probably still froze as well, so it'll take time for that to come. Yeah, to of kick course. In, kick in as well. Yeah. So you run all the way up, uh, and... Uh, since you're running, since you had two others been exploring some time in the past, you can all do a supply roll for your oxy- oxygen levels of your suits. Oh. How many dice was that again? You roll so many dice that you have. You started out with five. I don't know how you lost. Uh, I your, didn't your, lose any. Oh, I you never lost five. any. Well, then roll five. Fuck's sake. I'm down to two. We're running out of air. <laughs> how about how many successes do you need? Uh, for each success you get, you lose one supply rating. You lose. Yeah. So and what's the a more success? dice you have, yeah, for each uh, you one do you have, sir? Yeah, but what is a success? No, it's not a success. It's just it's a matter of using it. So uh, if you don't, for each success you do, you have depleted one point of uh, oxygen. Yeah, but rating. what is what the, what on the six? Six. I oh, that was a six. six oh, six, oh six, yeah, six, oh yeah. I rolled a six, so I lose one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I lose one. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's uh, so the more dice you have, the more likely it yeah. is that you're yeah. losing it, but it's safe to lose. And okay, yeah. I, so. Okay, so then I, I I'm down three. One. That means I have one left. Ooh. Well, you do a long yeah. run, and I th- maybe and there's something wrong with my uh, with my air supply, uh, guys. I'm getting dangerously low uh, on uh, yes. low on air. What are you even it's, doing? It's possible to breathe in the ship, but it's not. It's not going to be. La- it's going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be akin to be either being like a high at high altitude. It's going to make everything's going to feel. Yeah. Know, okay. Uh, are you? Uh, you have been laboring. Are, are you going to be stationed somewhere where you don't need to do any major physical uh, right activity? Right now, I'm out, uh, outside of Mother. Can you get That's in? That's what I'm trying. To do no, that. And if it, you can do that, uh, we'll take it from yeah, there. Uh, then I will uh, I will need to go back to ship to, sh- uh, um, to refuel. But no, no, no. Hold, hold on to that. Hold on to that. We might find uh, oxygen tanks in suits. Of course. Yeah. So don't, don't, because we might yeah. just find that. Sweet. Uh, I'm still good. I still have plenty. So if I need to do a bit of legwork to see if if there's any suits with viable uh, yeah, of oxygen course, of tanks, course. Uh, I can check it. I'll just try to, to get into Mother. I'd, I'd rather not spend, yeah, I'd, I'd rather not spend the time going back and forth to the other ship until we get more clear, uh, like, lay of the land yeah. on this one. But I don't, I, I don't have... Is, is that agreeable to everyone? Right now, I've, I'm almost uh, I, up to zero. Uh, okay, uh, should I just head off? Uh, I bring up the map. Uh, is there uh, a dock where there would be um, spacesuits? Let's see. Outside um, suits. Well, actually, I do the. Um, yeah. Where is it? Should be. There should and, be. Uh, and actually, it should be on cargo on a deck. You see, you, you would imagine it would be on, on a deck. The, uh, yeah, at, at the port side, all the way back behind the... Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I see, see spacesuits. Yeah, you see spacesuits. Okay, but then, then I'm closer side. to that myself, so I'll just uh, check on Mother and then i Do you I'll, want to head uh, back? I'll head on back. Okay, if it's a mysterious reason, you see that you are running so low that you can't let me and Carl know. Uh, I or if still have I just to turn to silent, to then back. I'm fucked. Come on. <laughs> He's so dramatic, <laughs> Carl. Like, so what do you like, expect us to, to do with that? You should be singing then for the entire way. Yeah. 
Ro, 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 you both Sing. motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, I just... That's, Sing to us. Yeah. That would also mean he would... Exp- you get like, Bon Jovi. Expand his oxygen even faster. I you know. get Bon Jovi. <laughs> ne- well, then, do no Swiss No, you get Bon Jovi. He, he won't oh, die. I, bon I mean, there are... Like, like I said, the air is breathable. It's just going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like it's a, it's, it would be akin to being like at 4,000 no, 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 meters the only above thing the I'm The only thing I'm worried about, because I've been in the med labs... Uh, and I say this, uh, I'm perfectly fine. He can handle uh, shitty oxygen. The one thing I am worried about is we don't know. We haven't got a diagnostic yeah. on the air. Yeah. And until we have that diagnostic, uh, I would rather be safe than sorry that we don't breathe in shit we shouldn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of trying to agree with that because they gone space happy. Here. And I'm like, I um, like to go gung ho, uh, but I don't want to get space crazy soup in my brain because we just took our masks off we, because we're dumbasses you don't know what they've been breathing here mm. and i'd rather there. like yeah I, I i'd rather do something else fun yeah. speaking yeah. of fun yeah are we done here carl uh because yeah. i'm bored. i grabbed the the loot and the there's a, there was a computer ad right that they yeah had. i can take it right it's not yeah yeah no it's transportable it's uh it sort of looks like a like a slender tablet, like just. I'll I'll uh, I have a, a shoulder bag, so I'll hide it in. I like I walk around like with a map. Uh, Carl, so uh, on this uh, scavenger hunt. Huh? Uh, where to next? Do we do mess hall? Do we do uh, another sci lab? Do we do another science sci-lab. module? Oh, please, yeah. Science module. So you guys head off to the science module, and uh, yes. at that time you have uh, r- arrived in front of the door into Mother. You've been running through. The corridors on the Cronus are are darker than, and uh, not padded like those on board the Montero. And uh, you can hear the sound of the metal beneath your feet, feet as you run. And it gets more, and it's still locked. You can't get in. As you, and as you turn around, you see Mil- Captain Miller waving to you as he is descending down through a just from junction a1 to deck b deck oh so she's going past me yeah then i just wave and i slowly yeah, go she, back she sees it's just kind of seeing you so she's waves but she's just going down yeah. one deck but then then i'm heading back again to slowly to where i came from along the same route yeah yeah you walk back the same route through the all for long hallway passing this the, 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 st- the parallel corridors to the stairwell passing once more through by the uh, access panel to the air scrub in, uh, shafts, back through cryogenics, and you enter into examination room, which is directly by cryo room three. This is an oblong room, and uh, it's a complete mess. I mean, things are just scattered about. It's not, it's not dirty in a sense, but it's just been things been tossed about, uh, torn out, uh, chairs are st- uh, like thrown on the floor. Uh, there's general disorder, and you pass through that. And so, the, the, do you walk into the left or right? Uh, 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 like, uh, there's two different storage areas. You see that one leads into. Um, they're exactly the same. Thing I just take sides, the one but... uh, on the on the port side. Okay, on the port side, uh, and you walk towards that one. Okay, so you pass. Showers in the hallway. You look down here. You look into the see the left in the, the showers back in there. It's dark in there. The lights are like just flickering, bright, briefly on and off as you pass. That's like photo cells register that you walk past. Mm. But you don't walk in, and you can see it's just dirty in there. There's grime. There's frozen water that's now starting to melt. So it's starting to drip down on the floor. In, for probably for my what, what kind of grime? Faucet has been closed completely. It's dirty. It's like less dust and wet and uh, stuff for that and mold that's been growing out. You can also see there's some mold, uh, sort of almost like fungus looking things growing on the dr- in the drain of the. Uh, and, uh, what of the that hell? means that this the, this vessel has been traveling quite some time before sort of like, shutting down. Yeah. Sort of like strange mold looking things with little, sort of like little, almost like a little mushroom looking. Yeah, I stay away yeah. from it. No, no this is yucky. 
don't like this. Yep. Uh, you walk all the way down to the end. Uh, they're completely out of the, completely the rear of the ship where the EVA storage unit mm. one is. How is the light source it's here? It's almost complete. Here's the okay. light source. Okay, it works. So we will step into the storage. The light comes on, and you see they're still. They're not. And it's almost completely cleared out. There are not many, but they're actually two. Still two EVA suits hanging here. But there should have been plenty more. Or like there at least eight missing. I turn the the camera on and I uh, I send my feed to to the others. So we have two suits. There should be more. There might be more on the other on the other side. Uh, so the storage unit on the other side. You don't know that, but there's two here. There are older <coughs> IRC Mag Fifty models compressor suits. So they're they're like a previous like a, it's basically the same model as yours, but a generation yeah. or two earlier. Yeah. Are there air tanks? Yeah, there's one air tank for each uh, of the two and suits. And they, are they interchangeable? Oh, let's see. Ah. Um, so that, I mean, it's the same model line. There's probably a good chance for that. Hi. Higher low. Ho. Oh. oh, well, that's a six. <laughs> that's yeah, a they're, high. Yeah, they're interchangeable. So they haven't changed, they haven't oh, changed the standard. See, no. I told you that's a good idea what I did there. See you, that's a good mm -hmm. idea what I said. SMRT. Like You pick I them up. I uh, space horror. <laughs> you pick them up, and there's a slight weight difference between the two. So you're guessing the one that's lighter has less air left in it yeah. than the other. But there should be a there should be a man so. uh, manometer to uh, to to show yeah. the the pressure. Yeah, you look around. And you find uh, you find it. It's been, it's still there, but it's like half ripped off the wall. So yeah, but also on the uh, on the suit, the the thing that shows how. Yeah, yeah. And so you yeah. have to put it on suit. Oh, put it on suit. Yeah, yeah. click click in suit. and out. Uh, like you see that the one tank has uh, is almost full, completely full at seventy five percent, equal of four supply rating, whereas the other one has. Two supply rating is almost yeah, okay. Almost so I of course take take the one with uh, with four, and yeah. Okay, you still have your camera on. I'm like, so so, suits are gone, but you're only in one of the. Uh, yeah, rooms. and uh, guys, check this out. Uh, the showers oh, doesn't look good. So I I attach the 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 tank to my my back, and then I go and peek into the shower again. He goes in and peeks in the shower. He used to turn on the lights, comes on and start, it's like flickering on, 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 off, on, off. Like, you know how yeah. like, uh, yeah. tube, the light tubes when it doesn't really work. So like, how, yeah. 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 you get fungi work. onto a ship like this, the, the ship should be sterilized before. Uh... I'm not a biotechnician, but um, I'm guessing it needs a specific, Biosphere, biosphere to survive and if this yeah and it needs spores has been frozen for a long yeah if the life support went down spores bad. spores wait a minute uh, don't no, touch no, them are you crazy don't, touch them. don't lick them no I'm still inside the suit yeah yeah good but uh, you, you you know uh, you know the captain? captain those Miller? routines we have everything is scrubbed Miller? always uh, uh this is Davis, Mi Captain Miller. Yeah, I'm. I'm at the the cap the cabin. Where are you? Uh, we're we're it? heading down to uh, the um, the do, 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 science do. module. Yeah, science module. Damn it! And when someone says they're gonna meet you somewhere, you wait for them. Okay, wait. Where stand? What stand? Where are you now? Where are you exactly now? We are. I'm guessing we're halfway there. Yeah, you you're at this uh, juncture. Uh, I think. Yeah, uh, you're, you're at the juncture between the living area, like in the, and uh, almost the, you just started on the hallway that leads down into the where to go parallel to the science lab too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because we kind of stopped and like we walked really slowly uh, whilst looking at uh, Champ's uh, video feed. Mm. 
Yeah, the Dance indie horror <laughs> flick. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm I'm so I'm very sorry, Captain. Uh, no no disrespect. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned that there might be some uh, something that could be in the air, based on what I saw in the med lab and what he's been seeing in the showers. I'm super concerned of taking off our our masks, our gear. Okay. Well, keep. I would on like. I would like to, if we can do a diagnostics before we do that. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bridge. You guys come find me there as soon as you're done with whatever you're doing now. Okay. We're just making sure. We're investigating. That... Yes. Yes, investigating, Captain. Because it's. it's um... ex I was I was gonna say exciting, and I was like, because it's sensible and exciting. <laughs> Sure, just be careful and don't do anything stupid. And here, here she sighs a bit like... What do you think she means by stupid? I take <laughs> off like the call to the captain and I talk to Carl. What do you, what do you think she's... What is stupid, Carl? Uh, stupid would be licking that mold in the shower. Yeah, but that that's just retarded. I'm just saying what's stupid. Like fun stupid or stupid stupid? Uh, I think I think fun stupid Captain expect us to avoid. Um, but, you know, it all depends whether it's not it's profitable, I believe. Ah, uh, if... Uh, I'm sh the med lab is huge. No, the, 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 the science module is huge. And profitable. Uh, yes, so let's go yes, there. Yes, yes. Just not... Don't lick, lick in, don't lick any walls. Uh, and uh, don't bring anything home. That's That's kind of... Don't look anymore. Don't bring it down. Yeah. Uh, we're, like we're gonna, we're gonna get hate pay grade. We're gonna grab some of the shit old bottles or whatever the hell was in the VIP lounge, and we're gonna get effed up later. I'm just saying, Carl, effed up. Okay. I got jobs. Um, okay, <laughs> um, I might be interested. <laughs> Once you're done showing them what's in the shower drain, what do you do? I then, go to the other uh, <laughs> other side and see just okay. to make sure, uh, just find out if there are more oxygen, more air, uh, and also you the showers. Walk. Yeah, you walk. Uh, you exit the shower stall and walk, and as he exits the shower stalls, what he doesn't see is that he steps on a small little fungus-looking thing. No. And he walks down the hallway and, and his foot releases up for it. A tiny little cloud of particles flows up and whirls around, up around him, up around his spacesuit. And so almost like it's almost like it's driven by some sort of will, or some sort of design. But just as soon as it's done that, it just floats down and falls to the floor and crumbles away into dust. So you walk over to the other side and you find pretty much the same state of affairs in the showers over yeah, there. Yeah, I, I stay away from the yeah. showers. Here, here's one, one, here's one shower that's been probably uh, that been running when the heat was turned off. So it's sort of a, like a long, slow, big icicle that goes all the way down into the drains. But now it started to thaw, so now there's running water. Oh, running that means the, the pipes uh, also will be bursting. Person. Yep. And you're assuming that each of these showers are run on a sort of a closed yeah. loop of water, recycling water, so it's the same water that goes through it all continuously. So it's not all hooked up to one no, no, main water supply. Still. Then it would go water under in water the pipes. Yeah. But that's probably fucked. Yeah, that's probably fucked. And the other uh, showers are also the same study of affairs as the others. You can see some of them have, have these fungus thing looking, growing it, and some is just dank, dark. And the last one you plot place past, it's just, you can see now that it's water that's been frozen, it's thawing. You can see that it's not water, but something that's brownish red that's starting to melt and float on the floor. There. It looks like a huge, some, some you, blood a lot oh, in fuck. there. Are you filming yeah. this? Oh, Do you, sure. Are you, are you, are you? I wish you did. Yeah. I don't like this one bit. Blood, fung, fungi. Yeah, but it, yeah, but like I'm not so concerned about the blood, man. Come on, now it's been like seventy 
gazillion years since that was like it's just t- thawing blood. Come on, people went space yeah. crazy. Yeah, they probably yeah, ate then. some ate some mushrooms. No, shouldn't. <laughs> we know better. We're not. No, we know better. Mm-hmm. Still, this doesn't um, look good. It's making me queasy. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to lean towards uh, having uh, our beloved corporate representative collect some samples. If anyone is, it should mm-hmm. be the money suit. Yeah, he, this he, is he's, not. He's the one. He's not necessary. Also, this this is not so this necessary. is not one who has to report back is to to take samples of anything. I'm not I'm no. not I'm not a science person. I can salvage shit. I can drive the, stuff. This is a corporate matter. It These is. Are, if, it's a corporate matter in a bio yeah. biomaterial is not salvage. Biomaterial for some weird ass fungus. If the if if the suits want it, the suits can't mm. fucking get it. I'm I'm loving these rational locations. Yes. I'm thinking, do you think there's like cool equipment? It's in, old equipment. In the, it's in the, in, the, in the science science module. Science it's co- it, it could be a hundred oh, years old. Out. Oh my god! Oh, it's vintage. Walked on the corridor, past the and you know and you're right now, Davis. You know that you were passing Mad Lab again, mm-hmm. and just the thoughts, of what you saw mm-hmm. there, gives you a little bit of a mm-hmm. chill down mm-hmm. your throat, uh, back. You pass the science section, which leads into science lab one and two, and junctions the B two. Oh, we got to get to that, but I just want to get to the And you walk all the way down thing. to the science module, and you hit the door, like the button for the door, and it just stays right. It doesn't open, and for a moment you're annoyed, like oh, it's a lock. They said it locked. You hit it again, and then you realize when you look through the little glass door. It's shit. It's open. No, it's open. It's not there. It's gone. what. Clearly, it's modular, and someone has ejected the entire science module part of the ship, blasted it out into space. Didn't we have seen this? The outside. It's on the dark side of the no, ship. No, because the 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 exterior hull is intact there, but it's like open from beneath. It drops. And you weren't drops, underneath it. Yeah, you weren't no, underneath yeah, yeah, the yeah, ship. yeah. It drops. It drops out. Yeah, it drops. So you just. God it damn out. it! God damn it! Oh. So, I'm. Um, Guessing they weren't too fond of what they were doing here as well. So. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna run with the feeling that uh, that that if there was something bad, it's now gone. Uh, it's like I said, this ship is similar to the one if you've all seen the Prometheus. So if you remember yep. when he what that was was a large that was a large uh, like escape. Part Miss Vickers had, but the hair is clearly it's been a science model, so it's all been injected. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, let's see if we can scramble anything up in the science labs. Like, I haven't been in Sci Lab One, I haven't been in Sci Lab Two. You turn back, you walk up, turn right, and walk down the science the sector hallway towards. Do you want to go into science lab one or two first? A bump call. One. One. Ladies' Cham. choice. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Cham, uh, you find one spacesuit in the other's EVA storage, and it has only a supply rating of one left on the okay, oxygen. So. Yeah, Lab. but I, I, then I know that. And it, this one was attached to the suits, actually. So, it's, you know, someone has been using the suits and then put it mm. back, probably. And not fit, refill it. And there's nothing else interesting here. No um, personal. No, no there's nothing, nothing else here. Yes. No, there's a lot of, uh, like, you find, like, some gloves and some uh, T-shirts and stuff that's been thrown haphazardly on the mm. floor. But uh, not, nothing, nothing of any other interests. Well, there's nothing on, nothing on a uh, a level, guys. But at least you got some oxygen, I've right? Got some. No. Until we get mother up and running and get the diagnostics yeah, on the so, air. Yeah. So so far, uh, I'm not coming into to, to mother. Mother is closed off. That is. We need the keys. We need the keys. We need the keys. So far, we have 
not been able to get anywhere with that. I can tell you that the science module is gone. The what? Gone. Okay. Decided to take an extended. Uh... Gone. It's gone. It's been evicted. <laughs> But the reactor core that's next to the science module is still there. Didn't check. Should should be. Uh, yeah. We're close to it, though. Well, I, I'm coming down. I'm just above you guys. Yeah, you. But you can't yeah. access that from. Uh, you can't access that from B deck. If you want to no, exit no. the reactor, you have to go down one. Further down. Yeah. No. So like, Absolutely. we don't know. I'm. I'm gonna. Yeah, that's all we're in C deck. Yeah. But I'm. I'm coming. Coming down to B. Yeah, we're in the, the science lab one. Yeah, science lab one. Okay. If there's got some fun going on here. It's gotta be. We've gotta get some fun. I'm heading down to uh, to science. But uh, as uh, they're in one, I'm, I'm sticking my head into number two. Yeah, you well, yeah, because it's not far for you to no. walk from where you are, because you have to take uh, junction B, exactly. uh, A one down to B two, so, no, B, B, B one to B two, B two, A two to B two. So you guys walk into number one as you hear sound of him walking down the ladder. But I'm I'm still A-deck. singing, so they know I'm alive. It's uh, yeah. wow, that's cutting necessary. Crew. I just died in your arms tonight. <laughs> but not what? the theme of <laughs> No. It's cold outside, there's no cars here. <laughs> you answer into Science Lab 1. Here as well as many other places, lights are flickering on, 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 off, making it a sort of strobe like effect, which is. That's unpleasant. Yeah, yeah, you're glad none of you are <laughs> approach any form of seizures. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, that would be, yeah. That you would look be around, bad. Elias, and are taken aback by what you see piled up in the middle of the room. No. There's a whole pile of bones. Bones? Bones. You can see some are broken, some have scratch mark, almost like there have been no other. They are. Got to get in a large detritus, just a lot of torn clothing. Uh, no meat. You find some bones. cushions. No bones. But there's bones, no meat. What? There, there's uh, the sort of general order garbage and detritus there as well. Some pa- r- sea rations, some uh, food rations from probably grabbed from mass or something. It's all this bundled together in this little, this little mountain top. It's sort of for like a half. Uh, Bones. It's just, yeah, it's, uh, Bones. it's, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's disconcerting and it's disgusting and you're glad you can't smell whatever that smells like. Uh, that, uh, yeah, but it's, can I, I get, I, can I get I, closer I would... to it to see if it's human bones? You walk over and you look down, do you have medical? Yes. Any medical? You don't have to roll if you have it, it's enough. Yeah, you can see that it's, uh, yeah, you can see that it's, uh, Human bones, you see, because you see, like, see a femur, you see, uh, like some parts of a f- fingers. I turn you, back to, Dave. but there's also These were some, humans. but also some of the bones look a bit odd, a bit longer, a bit broader than what you would expect for a human bone. You're not, you're not uh, sure. I, I stand completely like ragdoll, like arms limp to the side, looking at it. Carl. That's that's a pile of bones. Well, these are human, except I pick up one of the long ones. This does not belong in a human body. I don't want to know that, Carl. I don't need to know that, Carl. Aside from where you're standing in the middle of the room with this pile of bone and detritus, there's also this uh, enclo- like a decommunication unit that's... Uh, over an examination table, you know, like glass uh, yeah, yeah. that's sealed. And towards one wall, there's a row of uh, refrigerator units with doors to like wine, look the wine glasses, wine bottles in, in wine racks in, you know, those were like a see-through doors. Yeah, yeah. But it's one door is broke, glass door is broken, it's been smashed in. 
there's something in standing inside uh, the uh, medical examination table and uh, uh, containment unit. It's some sort of urn, which is black. It's it goes up like that, and then in like that. So it's like a wider, uh, narrow at the base, a little bit wider at the bottom, towards the bottom half, and then again, again winds in. It's black. Uh, and uh, round, like a cylindrical shape to it. Uh, uh, did you know what this reminds me of? I walked towards it. Carl. Do you know what it reminds me of? You oh. know, You know this, this grand, grand, granddad of mine, right? Like in his memoirs. He, he spoke about this movie, Indiana Jones. Okay. Yeah, he spoke about like, about, like, like cannibals and stuff. Like eating, eating, eating folks and stuff. And, and like ritual stuff. With, they put like organs in urns and stuff. Like brains and insides, I look like disgusted at their. Do you think that's what it is? I turn over. Do you think that's what it is, Carl? Do you think we should look? No. Do you think? And she says that looking at you, Carl. You look, see, look closer towards the broken glass door that on the refrigerator unit, and you see that. It seems to have four more of those kind of urns that you see in the that she's looking at standing in there, but one is clearly broken and some sort of black dark ooze has seeped out of it forming a congealed pool on the floor yeah you don't want to look into it it's just a, and, a big black ooze in it and you see strange black fungal nodes are growing out of the urn and out of the floor and as you do that you notice that they actually pretty much litter dotted the floor all over through the, the room and as you look you see that Davis has walked a path straight through some of them to get to where she's standing. And you see, it's possible to move around here without stepping on any, but it's going to be difficult. Okay, Davis, I, I Davis, Davis, it Davis. It looks like, like something with a crystal skull and some... Davis, like, Davis, what? look at me, look at me. What? Yeah. How about you uh, back out of the room the way you came in, right? I step back around out. like a buffoon. What are you saying? No, no, back out of the room. Out of the room? I take a step to the other side. Which, this way. Round you, you idiot! <laughs> and when she steps to the side, you notice something. Uh, you notice that in the black goo on the floor towards the broken refrigerator, there's this little key card protruding from it. And can I we'll go my... to Tam. <laughs> you can hear those two uh, <laughs> walking around, talking, uh, banging Call yelling stuff at in science more than one. As you walk into science lab two, whatever happened in here, it ended quickly. The entire room is nothing but a black charred room. Someone has been very liberal in the use of a incinerator unit to her. You also see a drum that lies on the side. It's blackened and burned out. It's empty. It's, and it's part of it has actually melted a bit from the enormous heat there's a huge dark soot imprint on the floor where the majority of fire has been as well as this completely sooted entire roof you can barely see that there's some remains of a body in a detritus in the middle of the room here some twisted burnt shape that's been it's almost completely completely cremated just like bones more or less is what's left of it okay guys uh, science 2 is not we have a pile of bones we have more than that uh we also have the key oh card. yeah nice uh, get the key card will you then we can get into mother yes, yes. Yes. i get yelled at because i i'm not supposed to move yeah, you, yeah, you two are like Mary and fungus. Pippin in that uh, Lord of the Rings just movie step, she's, from way back. She's stepping around the spores. Oh, and you look down shit. and you see that you just walked walls right through a lot of these fungus... Uh, almost like, almost like exact liking fungus uh, things that you've been yeah. stepping on. And then, you know, I, grab like, my, I grab my pill bottle and just hug it really hard through yeah. my pants. I'm like, yeah. ah, yeah. This is great, right? We have come kind of contamination showers, right? You also have the incinerator. I would be in the suit, Carl! 
Yeah, in it. Yeah, but the, around you. Yeah, you yeah. Step, yeah. If you had stepped out of the room, and I told you to, I'd incinerated this crap. But as yeah. for now, I try to make my way to the keycard. Is there a route to the keycard? Yeah, you see a route to get to it. Uh, you need to. I need a mobility roll for you. Uh, you can get a mobility. It's like crazy. <laughs> Sass, motherfucker. Because it, because it, like, and they're not covering the entire floor, but like patches here and patches there. So you gotta be really careful where you put your feet. I guess that's an agility. Yeah, it's agility plus mobility. I'm on, I'm on up a little bit more stressed. Okay. Like I have no more stress dice. I, but I'm high. Uh, so. no. So I'd like to push this. That means yeah, I sure. add a, add a stress die, right? Yeah, you got another stress die, and you can reroll. Ah yes, baby. Oh, I have one stress die. Yeah. You know how I called her an idiot for stepping in all these pores? Yeah. I'm an idiot. Yeah, baby. No successes? There are two yes. idiots here. Yes. There are two idiots. So you walk and, and you, and suddenly you, you, you step five. on something and it, it, it cracks <laughs> and you slip and you fall onto your knees and hands and it's brush <laughs> off. This. And you see, <gasps> and you get to see, you get you get to see first. Her, oh yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm like, yeah, And then yeah. you get to see what he stepped on, and like, and you're like even more horrified because he stepped on a lower part of a human jaw, <sighs> and it goes <sighs> under a uh, bit. And now that you're this close, you actually see that when you hit this fungus, there's this there's this tiny, tiny, tiny little particles that are just dispersed into the air. And they linger in the air for a while. <laughs> and then they fall down onto the floor and almost like melts or like rot, instantly rots away. I'm like, yeah, who's the idiot now, Carl? Who's I'm the idiot! The idiot. <laughs> and I, I, I panic and I try to get Don't off the floor. Don't flail around! You're gonna I move flail, stuff! I flail, I flail. You, you stepped yeah, on he the flails. head! He, like, he gets up, he walks up and he just, he's terrible. It's and he just everywhere! Grabs the, he yeah. grabs the key card and he just turns uh, like and runs. To get out there and just <laughs> kick stuff over oh, bones. Oh, me, well, you know, women he's, he's and children crushing, first. He's, he's crushing these uh, these mushroom things all over. And he's just just popping popping on and around him. I see, and you're like you're like, free, uh, you're freaking completely out. You cannot get actually get get another stress for that because you, like you're just, like you're yeah you you're like you're just backing away from him you're like, up into the wall like oh Christ oh Christ oh Christ. I'm like oh, damn Christ. you call damn you call if we get out of this I'm gonna. <laughs> You're gonna get a you, purple nurple, Carl. You get a purple nurple, yeah, like you, like your mama gonna feel it. I got I'm gonna the key card. Purple nurple. I got the, the key shit card. out of you. And he, and he, like he's he comes stumbling out of science lab one jam, and like Davis is just carefully like backing out of there, like hugging the wall, like like just sliding along the wall. And uh, I hate this. You can I all get this. another roll for supply writing for air on that one. Ah! All of us. Yeah, that's great. Um, uh, you can now. You don't have to roll yet. You can write a little bit. You had, your, you've been relatively mm -hmm. calm. You haven't done much. Oh, it was success <gasps> that defeated, right? I have one right? left. No, one no, left. I have two. I have two. two. I have okay. two left. So, left. so two. successes depleted, yeah, right? Depl yeah. Okay, not once, but successes. Yeah, successes. I have two left. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. boys. It's, yeah, that's boys. one left for me. Yeah. Left for me. Yeah. Well, oh, we this did. is not good. We need. I got the key card. Yeah, go to mother, Carl. I'm going. I'm going to mother. Yeah. I'm going to tell. Do you to walk mother. up through B for, from B two to A two? Is straight oh, yeah. up through the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. I'm covered in spores, I believe, and I'm fucked, and I'm just happy it's not eating. Dude, heading to mother to complain. Okay. Well, as he walks up there, you two are left staring at each other, and that's probably a good spot for a wee break. Okay. So we'll be oh, right no, back. No, 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 they are going me. to die. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. Well, they can go to the showers <laughs> and clean off. Oh no! Wait. <laughs> hmm. I said I was a fun guy, but <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you two are just like guy. Marion Pippin in Moria. <laughs> only, only um, taller. In the farmer maggots. The taller. Uh, taller. Uh, farm. And uh, better armed. Uh, and better looking. Armed. Uh. Well, we'll be right back. See you Bye. soon.
Welcome back from the break. When we left off, our players and their characters were in a bit of a situation. Rai and uh, um, Davis were both uh, scampering out of Science Lab 1, fearing they'd been covered in sort of spores for some strange fungus. While uh, Chan more or less just looks at him as, uh, as uh, Rai runs off down the corridor and saying, I'm going to the, I'm going to the mother, I'm going to mother, I have the key, I'm going there. Whereas uh, Davis is like, I'm clean, I'm clean. Yeah. <laughs> Captain, I'm a little bit worried about these two. <laughs> okay, enough malarking around, you three. Get back to here. Meet me at the bridge. <sighs> Meeting at the bridge. Aye, Captain. Kids, come along. Yeah, yeah, Dad. You all. I'm. I'm. St- I'm 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 a bit hesitant. I have the key. I can talk to Mark. Yeah, you're already away. You're already up on. The, you're already up on the deck. Yeah. By the time he yeah, so. I'm closer to Mother than the deck. I'll be right there. I uh, I I'm gonna go with Tam. Yeah, I'm just not okay with this. Stay uh, this a few food barn. A few yards behind, just to be safe. You saying there's something wrong with me? Am I covered in it? Is it yes, there is something wrong with you. There's always been something suit. wrong with you. No, 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 no. Is it on me? Is there something on me? I turn around and he said, is it on my back? Is there something on me? Is it on me? Is there anything on her? No, you can't really see anything. It looked like when when she came out, like you saw that there was stuff. For a brief moment, you could see like something like was flung through the air as he walked, as he like scampered through everything, getting out of it. <laughs> But it looked like it quite quickly fell down to the floor, and once it's done there, it's like indistinguishable from dust. Like it just, it actually, actually, it looks more like it's completely gone. You can't see it. It's probably either because it's so microscopic, or because it just rots away or something. Uh, sure. it, it, it has fallen off. It's you probably just. Uh, it's probably dead. Oh. I think you're good. Disgusting. He lost it. You know, I was fine. I was cool as a cucumber. Of course, he- you were. Lost of it. course. Cool as a cucumber. You wake your way back I towards the front of the ship. Uh, are you going to walk back the same way you came down, Leah? Or are you going to go on the other side of the ship? Uh, I, I follow uh, Chad. I go on the other uh, side. I don't know where, where she went, but I okay. definitely go on the other side. Okay, you, um, so you... um, Chap. Yeah, he, you walk after him like he's he's taking the lead. Uh, yeah, I, I walk... got up. As you walk down, you cross into the living area and you turn right there to walk over to the other side of the ship. And like I said, you, you're seeing this for the first time, uh, champ. Like the air, here, everything is just is just disarray. Just things been tossed around, blocked down. It's, it's, it's much like the complete. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Much like everything else. What I saw on, on top floor. And you go, yeah. And you walk into the mass hall, and it's, it's the same here. Hall. It's a mess. There's there's food items and like bowls of food standing on the on the tables. Uh, yeah, what used to be food and things things now is since the heat is coming along nicely and getting warmer and warmer and things are being defrosted. You can see that it's 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 it's, it's started to rot. It's like all hard rot. It's like using mold, but this is more the good old fashioned mold you'd expect from food that's been standing yeah. out too long. And uh, there's. Like cereal scattered across the floor, so it's like crunches as you walk over it. It's just yeah, same as the last place. This place also looks like looks a bunch of wild monkeys have gone completely amok. It's and crazy. Pass through the mass hall back into the hallway, and you went follows up past vestibule two, up towards mm. the bridge, and and so there, and you see the bridge for the first time. Davis has seen it before, uh, and I'll come back to describing that in a little while. And we go over to you, right? You walk through B through A deck quickly up to Mother, and you use the key, and now it goes from red lock to green opens and the door, and you can walk yes. into the octagonal room that is Mother. There's like one seat you can sit in, and you it slides and turns you in front of the IA interface. Yeah, the light here is muted red, 
There's lots of uh, lots of uh, little lamps, indicators. There's a keypad in front of you and a display. This is not voice control. I have to type in. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is. Uh, I, I slide into the. You could probably activate voice control somewhere, but uh, you're, not, you're not quite sure you do it. Plus, you're I slide helmet. into the seat first, and I ask, "Other status report." And you get a status report from sh from mother. Hull integrity one hundred percent. Engines offline. Reactor operating at twenty percent. CO two levels abnormally high. Com com system down. Okay. Um. Any way from here that I could probably I got the the scrubbers. He started scrub. Uh, scrubbers need physical cleaning and or replacing. What's the that? Okay. Uh, call up the the manifest. Other spare part. Yeah, there are spare parts uh, as well as uh, stored here for if you need to replace them. If you just need to clean them, there's equipment for doing that located in the air. Okay, uh, other, uh, I need a captain's log. Captain's log. And it comes up, and you find out that the ship was a scientific, it's a scientific mission, and it was to go to. Okay, where do I have it? Sorry, that bit of a lot of the things to keep. Uh, keep up. Yep. So, it appears that the ship came from a distant, uncharted planet in the twenty-six Draconis system. It uh, was clearly headed there for some for a scientific mission, and it uh, abruptly left there. And about two forty-eight hours after takeoff from from uh, this planet, which has been designated uh, LV one 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 three, the ship uh, went uh, dark uh, and uh, crew entered uh, stasis. The ship went dark and uh, shut down. Okay, nothing. Nothing about what really happened. Here. And there's like no, no clearly believe no log has been there's been no log capped since they left LV one one three. Okay, then I'd like uh the the a manifest of the passenger and crew passengers crews, yeah. and then I can then I'd ask brother to activate the uh, the consoles in the bridge. They are not activated now. I want them. Okay. Yep. And then I can head back. Yep. So you guys uh, comes into the bridge. You, you had been here before, Chams. What you see is that there's a comm station immediately in front of you as you answer. Behind that, there's a hollow display table, but that's just destroyed. It's just a burned oh, husk. You can no. see, you know that this thing is uh, is thawed out and getting warm here. You can see soot marks in the ceiling. Oh, it's ruined. It, Yep, you see the no, command up. station at the very nose of the ship. There's two pilot stations left and right to that. You see the sensor station. You can see that uh, the pilot station, someone has actually has taken a axe and you smashed one and planted an axe Ow! in it. And uh, as you do it's done here, you see the command station comes to powers up. And uh, comes to life and can gives you information. You see that life support monitors uh, flashes on, and you can see that it immediately warns that the CO level two CO two levels are high, not like dangerous high, but uncomfortable high, and it gives you information that the air scrubbers need to be cleaned and or replaced. But high CO two level means that there has been something breathing. The air after everything shut down. I walk in beside him because I've been trailing him. Mm. Yeah, 
Uh, this is a mess. It's Miller says she looks up from she's sitting on the command station. It's God knows what happened then in this place. So unless I mean, I guess we have to find some other way to like just. I mean, we can't tow it. We don't really have the equipment to tow. We're not a tow. We're not a towing rig. So we'll we'll need to fix things. And as you says this to you guys who's standing there, Carl, you enter the room. Yeah. And now, before that, everyone can have another supply rating roll for their oxygen. Yeah, because I have two left. Ah, uh, well. Woohoo! I still have two. No, no six. Nope. Still have four. Okay, good. Yes, and then uh, get a call into this room. Hey guys, um, mother is up and running. That's good. I have the the passenger and crew manifest, and also the the, the general manifest. Uh, we need to fix this. The log uh, is useless. Uh, but apparently the ship has been uh, boring. What was the sector that was the the twenty six Dacronis system? It's an it's yeah. an unregistered, uncharted planet which they des which they designated LV one 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 three. So it's in the Dacronis system and LV one one three. I don't know anything about that. But apparently they left. Do abruptly. I, as a pilot? Mm, yeah, you know this. What a roughly what a system are. It's like it's. It's 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 like the system has been shot as existing, but it has not been explored. So like it's you have known nothing about it. It's like you just it's empty space, and it's like nothing of any interest there. That's like at all. well then that it's it's been like an exploring mission then scientific exploring mission. Scientific exploration mission. Uh, that would kind of fit with thing we've seen. Um, yeah, because we're seeing some weird shit. They found something that made them leave in a hurry. Oh, they're crazy. There's gotta be some. Warning! Cryo noise. chambers deactivated. Warning! Cryo what? chambers deactivated. Can, Warning, do we have voice command on mother? Cryo chambers deactivated. No. Mother starts bleeding. Carl, can you, can you get voice command on mother? I can try. Probably through the uh, command station. I'll, I'll yeah. head to the command station. I, I'll, God, the captain is probably here, so I shove her to yeah. the side and then I do it. Yeah, you work. You don't have to roll on it. You, after a while, you end up getting finding out what the problem is. You manage to patch it in, and get get everything working and running up, so you can talk to mother directly from from command station. But only like nominal ship control. If anything sensitive, we still need to. And I classified as someone probably still needs to go and see mother in the room. But yeah, you get nominal pilot control or captain's control of the of mother for voice command. Yeah. You're welcome, people. Thank you so much, Carl. Mother, diagnostics on engines. Engines offline. Engines online, please. Engine, I just want to see if, if they can fire. In, uh, error. Incapable. Engine needs to be physically recalibrated as well as adjusted from reactor control. You, 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 you just don't understand. You start looking a bit more. In, in, you look at the, uh, the uh, error part and clearly the engines are no longer physically connected to the reactor core. Someone is, they have been decoupled. Fis like manually? Clearly they've been manually decoupled. I say that. The engines have been manually decoupled? Probably done That's in the heavy reactor shit. control room. Can I say, Can do I know if we're going to drag this ship with us? We don't have the capability. Yeah, but we don't, have, we have the towing. You don't have the towing. I mean, you're not. We don't have the towing. You? You're not. You're not. Uh, you not. You don't have the engines for the towing such a large. No, but if bolt. this if this ship had power, you start looking could, a bit more. Could it possibly be like if this ship could at some point power itself, we could tow it, but it would be like just not dragging. Yeah, yeah, you check. Yeah, you, you, okay. Here's the problem. You know, I see what problem is. You will actually have to do it's a twofold operation to get the engines working again. First, someone has to go for a spacewalk. 
ah, to do some baseball. manual repairs on the Damn. cable junction outside. And then secondly, you need to uh, re uh, reignite the engine's circuitry through the reactor control. Oh, well, I can do that. And okay, meanwhile, you can see here that the process for unfreezing the cryogenic tubes are in process, and it's not long until you're the cryo yeah, back up. Clearly, some sort of glitch them. in the yeah, okay. electrical uh, system to put, uh, put them on a wake. Uh, uh, Captain, I roll around because I'm sitting in the pilot's chair, uh, running like diagnostics on the ship. Mm. Uh, uh, Captain, uh, uh, upon, uh, should we get the suit for this? If they waking up, if they wake up, if they wake up, go and meet them. Go and search them. Go and go and go. Definitely go check and see what kind of state they are. I'll uh, continue to see what needs to be done here and the, uh, the bridge to get it operational. Don't we need the suit? No, we don't need the don't suit. Don't need the suit. We don't need suits. Is there a... Uh, well, you don't have enough suits for five No, 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 no. The Wilson. red suit. The suit red suit. The Wilson. Wilson. Uh, Wilson. The Wilson suit. Uh, yeah, we'll, I can call him here. He's yeah, because I oh, call no, him don't, the suit. Don't, don't, don't. Don't? You, you don't uh, need it. Cam, did you know, was, were there first aid kits in the cryogenic chambers? Or do we need to find them and bring them? You passed first aid kits in the examining area, which yeah. were directly behind yeah. the cryogenic. You saw some first aid kits on the wall there. Because medicine, is that a skill you have? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have that at all. I'm like, I am you. I'm not a people person. I, I like, I, yeah, he is. Okay. Right. Actually, okay. but what you do have, though, is that you found this uh, flask of electrolyte uh, rehydration. Yeah, like uh, I'm going to give that away. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You I'm just, I'm, no, but That's no, they're trip. mine. <laughs> Fuck that. That's mine. Uh, I'm just waiting for the air to be clean so I can pop some shit. So, <laughs> nah, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I ain't Sharon. They're space soup. Okay, you guys are running. Uh, not running. Towards the uh, um, moving quickly. I'm not running. The, I, I, no, they're still moving quickly back towards the cryogenic sleep. Do you walk up through A one yeah. then? I guess. Yeah, it yeah, takes sure. you. It takes you about one turn. Uh, uh, yeah, one turn. Now two turns to walk you normally to not expend too much oxygen yeah. to get to the cryogenic uh, areas. And as you do, you can see that the they are in process of opening up now. So it's like in one turn more, which is like five minutes, they'll probably be all be awake. Okay. Um, uh, you also see that two of the doors opening exposes a horrific sight of these two mummified corpses lying back in the hut. Uh, just completely dried, uh, freeze dried out. Um. So, head kits. Uh, they're in the back, uh, yeah. through there. Okay. You walk back I through the octagonal room that's cryogenic three. You walk into the examination room and you pull off the t the med kits you find hanging on the wall, one on each side. Uh, okay. There. Okay. You help you guys help me out. Uh, figure out who survived and have, help me out, get them out of the cryo chambers and away Did from the dead bodies as yeah. soon as possible. You don't need to traumatize them of any course. further. Uh, I, 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 I think I clearly said I yeah, stayed you're behind. Still in okay. Yeah, you stayed behind. You're back Ch in the, Cham, no, the bridge. Champ, please, please. No, because uh, there's, there's stuff okay. I want to I want to do like a piloty things. It's just I just want to yeah. run diagnostics. I want to get so much information I can uh, on all the technical shit uh, yeah. on the uh, this baby as mm. I possibly yeah, sure. can. Yeah. You, sure. you. I got nothing to do with medicine. I would just be like, uh, oh, poke them in the eye. Yeah, fine. <laughs> well. Bye. That's one way to see if they are alive. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> yeah. If it hurts, if it screams, it's alive. Well, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Champ, help me yeah, get the people out. One by one, as you open, you and it starts. Someone starts stirring a bit. You start helping them, and yeah. like, there's five people here. There are get two them. women and the three men. Okay, help them into the examination yeah. chamber. I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I mean, I mean Medbay would probably be the best place for them for the for okay, given the status. Said, but given the status of Medbay, as yeah. shown through the mm -hmm. camera of uh, Davis, probably is not the best place to take them. Yeah. Uh, examination room is a mess, but it's clean mess. It's like it's not like the it's not a fu fungus mess. No, or, not no fungus mess. Or yeah. rotting blood. Uh, oh, where, where, where? Calm down, calm down. You've been asleep for a while. You've been asleep for a while. Oh, I'm thirsty, so thirsty. Water. Water and like one well, of the stumbling, like let's like, 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 seeing the light is just like, <clears throat> like coughing for the 
heavy, thick air. They're stumbling, having problems standing up. And you just guide yeah. them all back and sit them down on benches in the examination room and start this. I, Sam, look for water. I'll examine oh, it. There, there, is there, did I see any water around here up, uh, upstairs? Uh, I mean, except yeah, for the no. rooms. <laughs> yeah, there are some, uh, there are some uh, bottled water in, uh, one, in, in, in a cabinet underneath the, underneath the uh, med yeah, okay. kit. Yeah, because it's, 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 it's normal, should be around here. Water, and they've started, they've started to thaw, so it's like there's just like ice yeah. in the middle and water on it. So it's pretty, oh, fresh yeah. and cool. That's actually yeah. really good. <laughs> Yeah. You you give water to someone and they're like, oh, when, what, when, where am I? Who am I? Oh, what? Oh, my head, my head is killing me. It's just, yeah, that's the dehydration. Oh, my head. And like, oh, and like when I'm like stumbling around, put you know, like, you see they actually gone to, into the cryogenic freezing all full dressed like they're just, Jumped in there and hit, hit it and got to sleep. Not, not the way you guys used to dress down in like your underwear and put on the life harpy monitors and all that. Yeah, colorful pajamas. Yeah, the they just, just gone to sleep. One guy says, oh, put, takes up some glasses and puts them on and like oh, massages his temples. Um, another guy, he's younger looking. He's just gulping down the water, just pouring it in. And you can see like. Whereas, uh, cryo sleep always fun. Uh, yeah. Oh, what? What? Seventy five mm. years of it. Where? Where? Where am I? Oh, what? What? Who? 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 Ah, who, who, who are you? Who, who, who are I'm you? Sorry to be oh. the one to tell you, but you have been asleep for seventy plus years. What? What? Yes, we've. Uh, we find your ship adrift. What? And a woman, a blonde, a tall blonde woman with short cropped hair, short like uh, preposterous! Stop making, f taking fun about us. Are you, are you from the, from what? Yes, the company. The company. That's right. Are you from, from the company? What company? The Whalen? From from yeah, a company. Definitely. Probably what outsourced company? through several companies. She tries to walk and she just like sits down again, like half collapses. Seventy-five the, years. This was a chair she was sitting in. Welcome to the future. I can't yes, feel welcome. my legs. It's just one of them. The shortest one, a uh, lady uh, of African descent. She's no more than 150, 150 centimeters tall. She's and Tiny. very strong, like like almost as broad as she's not tall. She's like looking furtively around, like, and then she grabs the bottle of water when she comes to her at the chamber and she's like, "Do you guys remember Ooh. anything?" Oh. No, I can't. It's all, it's all this a fog. It's all, it's, oh, my head, my head, my, oh, oh. And one of them, like, almost like vomits, like, oh, stomach cramps, stomach cramps. Like, puts the water down, probably drank too fast. Captain. One guy who's dressed in, a, like, a white uh, shirt. Yeah, and he's like, 75, 70 years. That's like, a new record. Can't be. No wonder, no wonder I can't remember. Clearly, it's some sort of bio effect of a long sleep. Must be neurological okay. stasis. Almost. Why would I know that? Are Are you here to rescue us? Yeah, we <laughs> we actually find you found you drifting in space. Oh, yeah, so I'm coming by chance. Yeah, yeah. we have a new record in uh, cryogenic sleep. They're, they're alive, alive, but they don't remember anything. They barely remember who they, who they are. Well, not, not, not a big surprise. Not a big surprise at all. 
Christ. Uh, Wilson, uh, there are survivors here. Oh, excellent, excellent. Uh, are any of them, any of them corporate representatives, any officers, anyone who can tell us what's what happened here? Are any of you corporate or officers of this ship? Do any of you know who Corpor you are? Yes, yes, yes. I represent the corp corporation. Says the woman, the blonde woman. She starts up, stands up. This time she actually manages to stand up. Still a bit like buckly and like, oh, sorry, just. Can you give us your oh, name? Anyone? Anyway? Too loud. My name. I can't. I can't remember. Um, I can't remember my name. My name. I have the manifest. Clayton. There, Clayton. I'm Clayton. That's right. I'm Clayton. So we have a Clayton. Yes, Clayton. Clayton. Laurie Clayton. We have That's a Laurie name. Clayton from company. Yes, and I represent represent the company. I had my stomach. Oh. But do any of you know okay. what happened to this ship? I'm sorry, I don't think it's... Well, and another man speaks. He's an older man, probably in his early 50s. He put his, takes off his glasses and massages his eyes like... It'll come back, I'm sure. This sort of long cry sleep, if it's really been that long as you say, it's... It, it's... It's... Oh, my head. It's, it's it's no wonder that we are disoriented. It, it, it should pass. It should pass in a while. Then we, we need just... you guys to remain here. We'll remain here. You give them some painkillers, each of them yeah. swallow them down. And that's that's down. No. <laughs> Do I hear any of this? Do I? Yeah, you you hear what they report back. Like they, when you talk to the captain as well. Uh, yeah, well then I'm going to like hail the captain. Like... Yeah, you're in the same room, so yeah, that's no problem. Yeah, uh, then I turn around on the captain. Captain. Yeah. We now have five more individuals waking up, breathing in this air. We and know what we have seen here. now in in, uh, in the the science labs. The science units indicate that there is some bad woohoo. Is it possible? Can I get mother just to shut off some units, take them off life support? So we can maybe preserve some of the oxygen, maybe purify it a bit. Well, let's, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Well, can I? Can I? The diagnostic on the air seems that, except for high levels of CO two, it doesn't detect any other f foreign presence on it at the moment. But yeah, it's hard to breathe. We can cut air support, uh, life support to D deck. We're not we're currently not there at all, and but I we need also C deck. Anything that's not necessary, but I need to get physically into the engines. Okay, you're going to the room, engine room. You need to go to be able to go down there, so I can partially take off parts of C deck as well. Safety off, precautions. Off and yeah, that uh, that seems like a seems like it's gonna work. No, and I shut down at least conserve some oxygen for cut off some places, de deck completely. So, so. I'm just saying, I do these uh, these space uh, Smurfs have just woken up, uh, and I don't want them to fuck up the air. <laughs> no, oh, I like good humans, call. <laughs> and then I start punching in. Like, let's shut down that. We don't need that. That was scary bone pipe. Mm, maybe I'm gonna listen to the captain, and then I'm not gonna listen to the captain. I'm gonna shut down, and for now, because I don't want these space Smurfs that just woke up, in case there's valuables there, and they're gonna hide it, so I'm just gonna, because they can go in there, because they don't have spacesuits, so I'm like, beep, 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 beep. Okay, so you shut on down the air, on, like, not just on D-deck, but on C-deck as well, and... Uh... Uh, I, I, if I can, because uh, you can override, can't you? You can uh, emergency lock down in units. You can look some units, not lock, you can't shut off whatever, all the units, whatever but, I can, uh, but you whatever. can like, lock off major intersection areas, so um, so you can, yeah, so you can lock up, lock up some of them. Because uh, uh, then I will, because uh, that's just in my nature. Uh, yeah. And then you'll have to, I, you have to, but then you'll have to be, have to be like, unlock them once you come, because what you really do, do, you lock off, you lock down the elevators, you lock off... Uh, 
the doors from the, the access from the junctions. The, the thing the, is, I primarily want what I'd want to lock off if I can mm. choose, if it's possible. Um, between the air scrub shafts, uh, the two uh, main corridors. Uh, I want to lock off that, and then if not, completely decrease uh, oxygen and life support to the side lab, med lab, living area. I want to just reduce it to the bare minimum. Yeah, conserve can, energy and conserve oxygen. You can, pull, yeah, you can lock the door. You can like the the pressurized each area is pressurized. We see doors are like yeah. air, 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 air secure doors. You can like essentially cut off uh, air support for from living area and back on. B-Lab. That's what I do for now yeah. because if that is valuable. Uh, mm-hmm. And they are, I'm thinking their brain's going to melt any minute because they, they've been in stasis for 75 years. I don't think I remember shit. If it's valuable, I don't want them to run around in it. I just, mm-hmm. I want to know. Yep. But like, like I said, it's going to um, be, like, there's still going to be air in there. Really? Breathable, so unless <laughs> someone goes in there and start breathing, you still up the air, you'll still be able to walk and breathe in there because you can't pull yeah, the air. You, you stop I air in flux. Okay. Yeah, so, I, yeah. And I, I'm kind of just, I'm like, with my pen, boop. And if the captain sees it, it's just mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, oh, I thought yeah. I was supposed to do that. Boop, boop. And uh, and of course, if you open the door, you're gonna uh, yeah. start re yeah, re area in. It's conserving and energy in air. You guys, uh, two other guys, are you staying with these people? You're putting them, helping them, being there. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna since I'm the only one uh, here with medical experience, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're gonna go. You go through. Start going through them one and one, one and one, and like. Just give uh, them a, a quick checkup. Uh, yeah. Make sure the they Check are. Pulse. It's just cryo sickness, kind of. Yeah. Going, I've been yeah. sick. Yeah, you you put on. You start with the oldest and works towards your youngest. Is the system you deserve. So you start with the older guy with the glasses in his fifth, early fifties. You put it like you check his CO two levels in his blood, his heartbeat you monitor, you uh, temperature, and yeah, and. We start working through one by one of them with Cham, you standing yeah. there helping him? Mostly just uh, helping these, okay. these people remain calm because don't want them running into the showers. Don't want them running into, well, anywhere. Yeah. Uh, you especially don't want to, if they have to, if they're going to move, you damn much sure want them to move towards the front of the ship in this level because that's pretty much okay. You do not want to walk back yeah. into those showers, nope. no, that's for sure. So yeah, so so you, I'm guessing you're actually standing yourself, block sort of uh, blocking at least one of the exits uh, yeah. to the side. Well, well you're locked. Most of these are just sitting there complaining about head, uh, like the old man complaining about headache. The the little uh, the small uh, muscular lady, she complains about stomach cramps and uh, yeah, generally just uh, they're generally worse for wear. Um, uh, but as I've, I'm I'm finish up their 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 medical medical exams. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm I'm gonna start. Asking questions. Yeah. You're... Anyone starting to remember anything? We need to know what happened here. Uh, it is yeah, crucial. Um, yeah, I'm... Um, I'm, I'm Reed, says the, the short one. I'm the... I'm the se- security officer. Yeah, that's right, security officer. And she looks like she gives you a furtive, like... And she look, glances at you, like, a bit worried, like, like suspicious, and, like, she's remember, starting to remember stuff. And... Uh, the other guy in the is a bit tall. He's got a beard and a moustache, black hair, a bit, a bit timid looking, perhaps a bit, a little bit down beaten in his late forties. Well, I'm the second officer. Yeah, second officer. My name is John Johns, Albert Johns. And he looks around, and I can't, I can't see our captain here. So, I guess that means, uh, means that I'm, that I'm. I'm normally in charge now. Yes. I'm, yes. I'm uh, in charge. Uh, I think officially you are. Uh, uh, this is a scavenging operation, um, more than a rescue operation. I don't know how the chain of command will be working. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, what oh. happened here? The, the, I'm. I'm. I'm Flynn. To the crew? I'm Flynn. So it's the youngest guy. He Asian. Uh, probably looks like he might be Japanese. He's uh, late twenties. He's got a moustache as well. Short crop, black hair, white shirt, as I said, and that's uh, that's Cooper. And he, uh, he, he points to the older guy with the glasses. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm Cooper. 
Oh my head is killing me. Oh no, my stomach is killing me, says Valerie. What happened? We we were on a mission. We were we were going. Yes. Did we have we arrived? Are we there? No. Most definitely not. No. Depends on where you were going. If you were going nowhere, then you've arrived. <laughs> uh, but we have tried to look at the logs and there's nothing. Captain's log is is nothing to explain what happened to you. Oh nonsense! Preposterous! Says uh, this Cooper. <coughs> Pancakes. Pancakes. Oval shaped. Round. Um, we all want pancakes. I know, I know. And he's, he starts to get up and he's like... Oh, no. Please calm down. Calm down, sir. And he starts... Let's start Do we shaking. hear this? It's like start shaking. Yeah, you can hear... You're through his comic. And he's like... Ah, and he starts see, he starts nose bleeding. Like lots of nose yeah, bleeding running out of him. And then, and, then, and then you see blood comes out of his ears. What the and hell? And he starts flailing. And oh, blood, bloody okay. eyes rolls over white as he starts to convulse and write against up against the wall. You I two, step yeah, back. You, yeah, you still over there to hold him. You're still holding down. Yeah, you yeah. as well to hold him, charm. And he's he's just, he's just shaking wildly, trashing. He's convulsing and he's like flailing all over the place. And as this is happening, you see that the other survivors sort of just inch away, like move away from him. You don't, but you don't stop to think why. It's just used to busy. He's just shaking and uh, and with a sickening pop and a bloody splash, his eyeball flies from his head and hits into the faceplate of you, Carl, and it ah! slides down and rolls away. <laughs> and God, you're like what? Damn it. And then he just starts flailing even more and more. And then you see a slender, gore-covered arm protruding from his eye socket. An arm? It is slender and round, and it reaches down. His spinely white fingers grabs at his teeth and just starts tearing and dragging on his jawline. Cooper doesn't um, scream anymore. He's no longer in his head, but something else is, and it wants out. I, I and then his flash tears apart, and his jaw is torn off, and his whole head is just pushed off his neck. Blood squirts all over the place, and whatever is inside of his head just slips out and falls down on the floor in a bloody mess. I want it's to step on it. It's just. I I, I unshoulder him with a rifle. Uh, and you both can uh, make a panic roll. Actually, we're gonna go do, do that. You roll a d6 and add your stress uh, to it. I'm not saying. It's, it's you, yeah. Do it you just, just have audio on or do you have video on? Audio. Oh. That's up to them. Oh yeah, no video because I want to fuck with you. Sorry. <laughs> no, okay. Well, okay. I have, well, uh, okay. You're not. Okay, you're not, you're, you're, you're not gonna get. You don't have to do a panic roll, but you're actually gonna get. It's like completely like stunned. You can't like you're just watching oh, okay. this and okay, it just looks completely insane. I had one success on my panel. Yeah. No, 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 yeah, that's uh, seven. You got three? Okay. And you got seven? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you keep it together, champ. Like, you're, like your nerves in check, barely. You, Nova, you start just start nervous twitching. Like, you're like, and your stress level increases one. And you can see he's just starting to stress a freak out. So your stress level increases by one as well, but, champ. But do remember, I have unshouldered my rifle. So when, if yep. I'm twitching, I, I'm ready to shoot. I want to stand. Uh, so, okay, so this is what is no standing on the floor in front of you. It's just slake shaking of its placenta and brain matter. How big is it? Jo- Cooper is. It's about 30 centimeters long. It's white, struggling to. Uh, sh- translucent white thing. It's struggling to stand on four wobbly, fawn like legs. It's got no eyes on this bulbous, sleek head that goes back. God. 
Send them off. Chess, and it looks. You're looking at this at the camera. And you're like staring in disbelief, Davis. But that looks looks exactly like those things you saw in the jar in the in Mad Lab, just bigger. The one and only one in the Mad Lab is much smaller, and the other one is a bit smaller. But it's this looks like the same. The ice cream. And we can do initiative. Kill it! Kill yeah, it! The initiative. Kill it! And the other start. The other start, and they start yelling as well. Kill it! Kill it! Okay, so this one is yours, Cham, and this one is yours, Colin. This oh, one is yeah, a yeah, GM's. Yeah. So you get the number six, Ogan. You get the number five, Christian. <laughs> and all right. I get none because I am the Seven for the thing. Yes, you are. And who is beginning? I the lowest number or the highest us. number? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can say lowest begins, so you guys get to act. Okay. Um... Even if I'm twitching? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, so, yeah, you're twitching. So, uh, at this just, point, just... I, I'm panicking again. Uh, so, rules for full auto fire. Ah. I, I'm glad.